Good afternoon YouTube, this is Scott with InsideTheCurve.com Back with another Fusion 360 for woodworking tutorial uh, This afternoon we're going to be making a simple bit tray I'm getting quite a few bits saved up for my uh, CNC router And it's finally time to do a little bit of organization with them So this is a pretty simple project uh, I'm going to start out by saving this first And it's going to give it a name of bit tray Enter Create a sketch on the top plane. So R for rectangle. We're going to make it 10 inches that way. Tab by 8 inches. Yeah, let's say 6. 6 inches. Enter. That looks about right. We're going to use a new tool we haven't used, I don't think, so far. Alright, come over here to the sketch palette and use the fillet. I'm going to select all my corners here first. And I'm going to make these a one inch. Enter. All right. We're going to go ahead and stop our sketch for now. Q brings up press pull. I'm going to be using three quarter inch stock, 0.75. Enter. There we go. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle here for bulk storage. Draw that out. D for dimension. Make it 2.75 inches that way. D for dimension this way. 4 inches is bright. Alright. Go ahead and give this a dimension here. We're going to make that 0.75 that way. And one inch there. Enter. I'm going to use the fillet again over here. Fillet. Select all my corners. Like so. And I'm going to make these a three quarter inch. Eh, half looked alright. Half inch. Enter on that. Q brings up press pull. We're going to go down minus 0.375, which is 3 eighths of an inch. Enter. There's a little bulk storage cut to toss things in. Now we're going to draw a circle. And we're going to say most of my bits are a quarter inch, so we're just going to make all these a quarter. Enter. And now we're going to use the pattern tool. I think we've used this previously in one of our other videos. I want to make sure I select the outside circle and not the point. Like that. And we're going to say we want to go uh, 8 wide. That way. And we want to go... this way that's looking pretty good enter get a Q for press pull thought there might be a way to select these all a little faster but I don't think there is Alright, so Q for press pull. Stop the sketch first. So I'm going to go. Alright, so if somebody wants to comment in the uh, comments of this video and tell me how to do that faster, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm not an expert in this, just like making videos. So I'm going to go down, uh, say, a half inch, minus 0.5. That's probably plenty deep, I'd say. Alright, so there is our basic bit tray. I am going to just draw this field on here, but I'll just do this with the uh, hand router, but I just want to see what it looks going to look like. 
Uh, I'm going to have a quarter inch round over on that. And I'll just run my round over around that too. I could have selected all that and did it at once, but I didn't think about it. And I'm going to use a quarter inch ball on the bottom of this pocket. And that'll give it a little easier to grab out of there. So there we have it. There's our basic bit tray. So if you have a CNC router, this can be a great project for you to uh, follow along. And uh, eventually I'll do the cam side of this. Uh, it's a little cold here, so I might not have much time to get out in the shop right now between uh, the main job. But uh, here they're he neither here nor there. So I hope you got something from this uh, Fusion 360 for working video. And if you did, be sure to comment down below, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe. I'm going to keep pumping out these videos for you. And until tomorrow, have a great day.